Hi guys, a few days ago our good friend Sammy Wilson from the DUP stood up in an empty House of Commons chamber for his weekly long-winded rant about a Brexit that he campaigned for, voted for and regrets the consequences of. While the core issue of course was Brexit, the DUP MP was a bit more focused on the Union and what he sees as an instrument to destroy that Union, the Windsor Framework. I think the empty chamber is somewhat symbolic of the DUP's impotent rage against the consequences of Brexit, but this was the bed they have made for themselves. Brexit hardman Steve Baker, the Northern Ireland Minister, presented it in more diplomatic language than I have. Have a listen. That unionists will not and cannot and should not be expected to uh, participate in the demise of the union by having to sit in an assembly which would be forced to implement the very policies which they believe are detrimental to the union. It would be hypocritical for DUP ministers and unionist ministers to have to sit in, in, in the assembly and by law, because the courts have ruled on it, by law um, have to implement something which their colleagues would be standing here in this place condemning and saying was detrimental to the union. And I, I think that the, the, there is an onus on the government to recognise the Windsor framework has not sorted out the issues. It's made them worse. I think that October will show that it's made them worse. And um, that if you want to, if we want devolution restored, then it's got to be on the basis. I will give way. Yes. I, I'm listening to him very carefully, and I appreciate the tone in which he's delivering his remarks. But I've stood here, I think, at least twice, and said that I recognise, we recognise, that this is a hard compromise for unionists and eurosceptics. But I think it has to be said that the European Union have their own stakeholders. Personally, I was amongst those who said for a long time that we could have administrative and technical solutions to deal with the issues of Northern Ireland. I worked on it before the referendum and subsequently I saw to it that papers were produced after I resigned from the government in 2018. It's a subject extremely close to my heart. But since he raises it again, what I would say to him and to all unionists of whatever strength of opinion, one has to choose from available futures. He knows that. He's a more experienced politician than me. One has to choose from available futures. The EU have their own stakeholders. We've managed to reset the relationship with Ireland and with the European Union, and that op offers the hope of a better future for all of us in Western Europe. On the point of the budget, the surest way now surely to harm the Union is to allow Northern Ireland to fail, because people vote for change when the world isn't working for them. And I have to say to him that when I look at the available futures for Northern Ireland, the one that is going to work best and best preserve the Union is to get on and get Northern Ireland working. And I know he's frustrated. I know he's frustrated. I'm frustrated too. And I'd say to him I would have liked to have done better on the Windsor framework. But now we have to choose from the best of available futures. He's right. You have to choose from the futures that are available. And the future that's available at the moment is either to do nothing and allow the Union to, to collapse because you know the, the, the longer Northern Ireland doesn't have an executive the more damaging it is to the Union the more damaging it is to Northern Ireland because Sinn Féin will turn around and say look Northern Ireland is not working what's the point of Northern Ireland the DUP pulled the plug when they you know when they don't get their way and this is a consequence of something that they campaigned for. This is a consequence of Brexit. This is nothing. And the worst thing about all of this is that it's nothing to do with the Northern Ireland executive. They have no control over the Northern Ireland protocol. They have no control over the Windsor framework. This is an agreement between the UK government and the EU. Just to pick up on a few things that were also mentioned in this exchange, uh, Sammy Wilson, of course, is correct in a sense when he's saying that uh, DUP members of the Northern Ireland Assembly. So if the Assembly is formed, um, they, they'll have to implement rules that they disagree with. But that's the consequence of the Windsor Framework. If you have a problem with the Windsor Framework, take it up with the British government. They are your representatives. The Northern Ireland is not an independent country. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. And as a consequence of that, um, the people in charge are the British government. You know, the DUP keep banging on about representation and about consent, 
But at the end of the day, the people who are making the decisions are, are the Northern Ireland um, Secretary of State, the Minister, and ultimately the government. He also, and well, they will also have the possibility of pulling the storm and break if they if they can garner enough um, members of the Northern Ireland Assembly uh, against any new EU legislation. But it's unlikely to work because they're probably not going to get the numbers. And it's unlikely to work for another reason is because the Northern Ireland Secretary of State will probably say, well, actually, no, you have to implement it. But once again, it comes back to the, the, the fact that Northern Ireland is devolved, but not completely independent, not independent in any sense, but not independent in the way that the DUP tried to paint it. Also what's interesting in the exchange was how um, Steve, ba Steve Baker was talking about um, electronic solutions to borders be before the referendum and after the referendum. This of course was this fantasy electronic border I believe um, on the island of Ireland. Why was he mentioning that now? That was pie in the sky back in 2016 and of course we've moved on from that. Maybe he was attempting to throw a bone to the DUP saying, I I'm on your side, D don't forget that. Or perhaps <laughs> perhaps trying to convince them that he's on their side. But as Steve Baker has pointed out as well, there are, there's only the, uh, there are only the paths available to you. You can't make up new ones. It's either don't implement uh, the executive, don't get it up and running, or do as you're told. And... Uh, Either way is difficult for the DUP. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.